All right, y'all. We got to start this off by cleaning out this entire thing. So everything on top, everything inside comes out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, cleaning it out should be the worst part. Once we get started, it should go pretty quickly. Now that we have everything off the top and a lot of the junk out from the, you know, the actual inside, we're going to be using a shovel to actually mix everything up. We've got this big, big old bald spot right there. We're going to just shovel it all, equal it all out. Then we're going to plant some grass, put some new cypress mulch in, and decorate it, which is the best part about any project. So just get that done so we can get to the best part. So it's time to get the grass for the enclosure. This is going to be his main diet. I wanted to get some good quality grass with some dandelions, a little bit of clover, a little bit of everything. So that's what we have here. We're just going to be using the shovel and scraping it up. Okay, now it's just time to lay the grass and get it all stored away for him. Look at all these fresh from the ground dandelion leaves. Look at all that perfect, great source of nutrients, food for tortoises and dandelion greens, dandelion flowers, all of it. So it's going in here. Okay, so it's been a few days now. Um, I am bringing them in at night just for right now just because it's getting down to the low 60s at night. But the daytime is usually, you know, high 70s, mid 80s. But um, he's been in here pretty much every day, all day for the most part. He's um, gotten used to his new environment, so he's really starting to exhibit his sulcata, just his sulcata himself. I forget what it's called, but you know, you know what I'm saying. He's starting to act like a Sakata tortoise would if they weren't nervous. So, I um, actually just got done. I got the hose and I sprayed it down in here. I put it on like the mist setting. I watered the grass. Um, I just sprayed the mulch down just a, just a little bit. It does raise the humidity a slight bit, but it is outside. So, you know, the humidity is pretty good in just the regular air. But um, it's really cool. I was watering the grass and he's normally over there in this taller grass just kind of sitting there he made a little burrow back there so I was looking for him and I couldn't find him so I looked over here and he was sitting right in front like he had turned like you know he's facing outwards he was kind of halfway in, into the pipe halfway out and that's exactly what they would do in the wild so it's pretty cool to see that but um he is enjoying it there he is he's eating that grass every single day and um yeah so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video i know it was kind of it seems pretty short but i just need to get a video out 
So hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'll be having some updates here pretty soon. And within a month, I'm gonna be having so many projects. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at homeworldherps. I'll have the name in the description of this video. And make sure to have a good day. See you later. Bye.